Okay, so my camera, the car got full, you know, drama with the camera. But what I was saying is I absolutely and totally love this foundation. Um, it's very lightweight. I love the color. Like I said, like I very seldom can find something that matches me so well, but I feel like this is really doing the trick. I'm just adding kind of like another layer. It's pretty buildable. And I'm a beauty blender girl. Like I know there's kabuki brushes and foundation brushes, but I am a damp beauty blender kind of girl. So I wanted to zoom in a little bit closer so you guys could see the color match and all of that, but I, I really, really like it. I'm gonna get my neck a little bit so like my neck isn't super light <laughs> than my face. Like I figured it would be good because I am a fan of NARS, but I'm very excited. So now I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually use two concealers. So I had been using custard for a while from them, too light. I made a mistake and got Cafe Con Leche, their new concealer color. Child, that is way too light. It is actually light. So what I'm actually going to do is use Biscuit and then I'm going to use Ginger to highlight even the corner of my eyes. So what I was realizing was that the colors I was using, like they had too much white in them. Like I thought I was trying to I was trying to convince myself that it was yellow. It was definitely like too white. So this one definitely has more of a brown, even like maybe peachy undertone. It just like, I don't wanna say peachy. Well, maybe peachy, just like my right complexion. But yeah, the other ones was just like atrocious. And now that I got my life together and I know what I'm doing, I was super excited to try this. So that was the first shade. I like to use a lighter shade to really brighten the inside of my eyes and maybe four and a half, five hours of sleep. So I like to get the inside of my eyes like that to kind of brighten them up. And then what I'll use is like the very kind of like corner so I can get the corner of my eye with the beauty blender. good thing is is that this concealer really has a great color payoff so you don't have to use a lot of product for it to pay off for you you know so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and you know wrap this thing up and I'm gonna be vlogging throughout the day I think this is gonna be a good one I'm not gonna set my face with too much powder um, because I do wanna see the true um, wear of this foundation. I'm really just gonna set where I've done like the highlighter and stuff like that, but I'll be right back. Okay guys, I love this foundation. Like, love it. Like to the front and back, I love it. I think for the first 30 minutes I've had it on, I probably, I can easily say, I like it more than the Pro Filter. I know, Fenty Beauty is everything, we still love it. But I think as far as even the color match, this tends to match me a little bit better. Like I said, you know, I understand that foundations are hard to match because everybody's face is more than just one color, but this really hit the nail on the head. I love how lightweight it is. I love how buildable it is. Um, it's working with the rest of my makeup. I've done a full face of makeup, so I really wanted to give this thing a fair shot. Didn't really set my face with powder too much, just like where I highlighted, so I don't like crease or anything like that. But this foundation is really, really great. This is a great foundation if you want coverage, but you don't want it to feel like you have foundation on either. So that's why I'm really, really liking it and enjoying it um, from what it feels like. Like it's really really good for your normal to dry skin folks like myself so I love it I'm really excited to see how it wears at the end of the day so we'll come back at the end of the day I'm gonna be vlogging every few hours so you guys see how it's wearing I'm not going to like reset it with powder or anything like that and you guys I think this is gonna be one of my go-to foundations like NARS has always killed it for me in the concealer department, but in the foundation department, this is the way to go. So this is their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It's good, guys. This, this might be the tea. So stay tuned. I'll share it with you guys in the next few hours. So it's been about five hours since I've had 
the foundation on. I still like it. I was tearing up a little bit, so it took off a little bit of my concealer when we were outside. It was super bright today, so my eyes were watering. But I kind of feel like the foundation is still wearing pretty good. So you guys can see that I'm a little bit shiny, but oh my gosh. You guys, this foundation was amazing. It's a little bit after midnight. As you can see, it's like, it's 12, 13. I put this foundation on around 11, 30 um, in the morning and it really has held up. I did not set it with like any kind of setting spray or anything like that. Literally, you can't even see like my smile lines that much and my skin just looks so Good. It doesn't even look like I've been wearing makeup all day, in my opinion. I just like it. The color did not oxidate, like everything looks so good. I love it. I really, really like this foundation. But yeah, I'm so pleased with this foundation, you guys. Like, I'm not super oily, like a little bit shiny on my nose and a little bit on my forehead. But for the most part, my skin looks so good. Doesn't feel oily, doesn't feel super heavy. I even fell asleep for a little bit, like maybe for like 10 minutes on my couch just now. And you guys, so pleased with this. Really, really love it. I give it about, I would say I give it like a nine out of 10. Color still so good. I really just cannot believe this coverage and like it feels so light. So I'm not gonna lie, this is probably gonna be my go-to, um, it's probably gonna be my go-to foundation. All right, I'm about to go to bed. I'm super tired, but I wanted to make sure that I reported back to you guys. I have a little bit of creasing because my eyes watered because I was like super sleepy. That's the only reason why I have creasing here because it was wet from tears, not because of the product, so. That's how my concealer held up, and this is how the foundation held up. Very pleased. <laughs>